Elder here, and today we're going to play Nikos Room Chapter 1. So, this is an interesting start. Welcome! Look at that, the way that it seems like we're looking at it from down below because of the lighting, I guess? I don't know. Let's start, shall we? Is the button? Yes, the button is Z for interacting stuff. This game kind of flashing light and ice train as well as disturbing imaginary themes, metal language, and drug use. Hooray! Woo! Drug use, let's go. Cool. <laughs> Just kidding. All of the characters and events are fictional, and any resemblance to reality is purely coincidental. Is it? Is it purely coincidental? Ah! Benui! Benui, 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 Benui. Exolize, exolism. Nikos room. Ooh, spicy, spicy, spicy. Yes, RPG Maker stuff. Let's go. Begin. Contents. Chapter 1. A box of wilted petals. Chapter 3, please, please. Play Chapter 1. That's a nice accessibility thing. Hm. Although, I cannot click anything now. Ch I am stuck. <laughs> I, I, I don't think you're supposed to do that, maybe. Oh, that's nice. Simple but nice, yes. Because I cannot reject it. I mean, I can, but like... It will make me go... Somewhere. The clock is missing some... Hand. Concerning. A box of... Oh, that's nice. It's very nice. Woohoo! What is... Is that... Oh, that's, that's a clock in the wall. It was a little bit confusing because there's no wall visible. Me. This will do. I've been making my bed lately. Interesting. That's good, I suppose. With that out of the way, I can now start doing my daily routine. I have something to do in this room. Afterwards, I'll go back to bed. Where should I even begin? I never managed to come up with an order. Okay, usual stuff. Woohee! That's sprinting? Yeah, that's sprinting. A clock with no hands. A taking noise is emitting from the inside of it. Should I stare at it? Yes? Spicy! <laughs> oh, my hair is a mess. My handbags are clear as day. My eyebrows are still gone for some reason. Oh, wait. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, you're right. My face keeps getting more simple looking. It looks better like this. Other than that, today I look fine. Are you? Staying in a close of space for such a long time doesn't do good for my looks. Not that I had any kind of good looks anyways. Aww. No nonsense. You do have a good look. Since there, there's not much to do around here, I spend some of my time looking at my... Miserable reflection the clock. There's something comforting about it. I look at it and everything goes away. It's strange. Am I supposed to press act? And last clock is not something you see every day, like, should I go back? Even with all the oddities like the books or the plan, the clock is what stands out. I think about it so I don't get overwhelmed by the dread I get from being in such a place. It's like a pause for the brain. So every day I spend some time just staring at it. It makes me feel better even just a little bit. Also, sometimes my reflection movement doesn't sync perfectly with mine. Sometimes it, uh, okay. Sometimes the clock is just slightly rotated to the right, just enough to make me feel ill. And why is that? Why is it rotated to the right? Sometimes. Sometimes I touch the glass and it's freezing cold. And sometimes... It feels like my reflection stares back at me. 
Yippee! I've already started, started it today. A very brave achievement of someone angelic. Oh, looking at it for the long makes my eyes hurt. Ow! Cool. A small tree. I never figured out what this plant is supposed to be. I'm not very knowledgeable in biology, but surely the plants are unusually discontorted. When I first saw it, it, does, it didn't look as bad. I've been watering it ever since I've got here. I still don't know if this room belongs to anyone. But even so, I shouldn't just let it die. What do you mean? Is this not your room? Even so, it seems that each passing day, it looks even worse. I wonder if there's something in the water. I want to believe it will get better if I just keep on watering, but... I don't know. I'm probably just overthinking. Maintaining a plant shouldn't have to be this hard. It is kinda hard. The dirt, the dirt looks dry. I have to water it for today. There are some water bottles in the drawer. I'll go grab one. Are you trapped in this whole room and going to a dream world or something every time you sleep? A drawer. There's some small water bottles inside. I take one from the inside to water the plant. Oh, spooky. Often the water bottle. <laughs> the sound effects spooks me. Wall? Is there something on the wall? A surprisingly cozy bed. I can't go to sleep yet. I still have some things to do. Very interesting. Does the book have no colors? Oh, none. Blue. A trash can, it's empty. I usually use it to throw away empty water bottles. It seems to be emptying itself every day. Everything I throw in it magically disappears the next day. Well, that's... Interesting. I shall be mindful of what I'm throwing away. What if it's the exit? What if you can just like jump in it and, you know, get out of here? TV. It doesn't seem to be working. Occasionally, this TV will turn on, on and off at random, showing a soccer match in reverse. I was never into sport, but I enjoyed having some background noise, I guess. Why is it in the middle of the room? Can you move it? Although the paranoia of not knowing when it will turn on again was not as enjoyable. Personally, it seems stopping working. I think. I hope. Water the plan? No. Yes. Oh, a little animation. Why do you water it so far away? Still looks the same. I hope I'm not drowning it. There isn't that much water in the, bo in the bottle. I shall throw the bottle in the trash can. Why would I? Hell no, I'm keeping it. Oh shit, I haven't read that. Oh fuck, I just skipped that. It's nice having some somewhere to go shut whenever I feel like has to be or to save the progress of each passing day. For now, she'll I read something on it. Well, it is a safe spot, but I can't escape that. Oh, oh no. Wardrobe. There are a couple cut hangers, but that's about it. A bookshelf containing books of dubious quality. The books in here are weird, most of them being filed with rip page and scribbles. Rip page and scribbles. Maybe people write on them. People like you who are trapped in this room, they took the paper away to write something. I'm a huge bookworm, but I never even heard of these books here. I wonder if they were written by whoever lived here. Even so, I read on daily as part of my daily routine. routine. Since there are no windows in this room and the clock doesn't have hands, I have to rely on the books to tell the passing of time. If I read one every day, or at least every time I wake up, I'll be able to tell how many days I've been here. I've currently read 31 books. Shall I read the book for a day? Hum. I wonder what book I should read today. Not the number of book will change. More will be added as future chapters comes out. Oh. Uh, oh. Oh, very clear. I pick up the book from shelf and look at the title. The Baseless Community of Self-Destruction. Shall I read the yes? 
I just example that Shall I read this book? Yes. I suddenly floor cold and lay my back on the pitch black wall. I opened the book to the first page. Once upon a blue sky there was a goal. A ray of light looming over us. Taunting us. Taunting me. A boundary of meaning forever just out of my reach. They took the world and shaped it at will. They made geometric mistakes that fulfilled nothing but a fire. As we consume, dreaming to the ray of light once more. A never-ending hunger born from despair. Look at the sky. Is there even a sky up there? From that self-assurance, a burning wish infected us. We made stare from bombs and blood. A spiteful tale tear mending the promise. We built and built and built and built till there was nothing to build for. A screeching song from a choir of nooses at the star as the stars miss the eye. We look up but there was no up anymore. Sparkling mess of forever and ever and never. We looked down, but there was no reason to see. Gazing at everything and anything at the same time, but there's nothing to be seen. My old key is gone, I can regret a tear of greatness. A leap of faith when the being collides. The sky is the limit, but the sky is way below us. Uh, how very, um, motivational. <laughs> I've come to ex expect level, higher level of awareness in the books from here. This one's pretty tame. I get up and put the book on a shelf. You know what? Yes. Well, that's all I can do today. I'm getting tired already. I should go to bed now. Yeah, sure. Why not? Um, 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 great chest of music. Is there something behind it? Nothing? Okay then. Shall I go sleep? Yes. Scythe. I'm getting sleepy already. I feel like every day I'm getting more and more tired. Well, I've done everything for today. I'll go back to sleep. Gah! Yeah. Ow? Ow. Huh? The bed is gone? But it... eh? Actually, everything is gone. What? Well, how did... Uh, I think I hurt my head. I feel dizzy. There's a clock. <laughs> Why are you still here? You suck. I have to get up. Yeah, sure. Oh, wow. What? When? When are you there? How are you there? You are very peculiar. You know that? Very enticing. A clock with hands. Huh? Where did this door came from? Uh, what is happening? Why now? My hand rests on the handle as I start to feel a knot in my stomach. This is... This is beyond the weirdness I had to endure up until now. Scythe, why does this ha have to happen to me? I'm tired. I just want to sleep. I just... I... I might as well... Boop! Fell down. Sleepy me up. Oh. Never mind. Hmm, I thought you were going to sleep. So, what awaits me at the end of the hallway? No, nothing, no jump scare? Oh. Eh? I glance at the never seen before hallway. Oh, that's cool. Both sides seem to switch on forever. 
The infinite amount of dead ends with only the occasional object freaks me out. Somehow I ended up reaching an unexpected conclusion. Oh, c God. Do I ha have a nate bars in this place? I find myself thinking out loud as the dreads of social interaction settles <laughs> <laughs> is 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 that your issue? This is the last thing I expected from here. Cool. All this weirdness. The only thing that I can think of is the fucking talking to people. Obviously. Interesting. Ah, it disappears. What up? Maybe it does not disappear. Huh? Isn't this the path that led me here? Am I going in circle? My head feels heavy. I wasn't focusing. Maybe I missed something? Maybe you do. Maybe you do miss something. A tidy trash bag. The opening is loose. Should I check its content? Yes. There's something inside. A curiously, curiously shaped object I felt to identify. I closed the bag. The opening is slightly ajar as if somebody checked its content. Th you did! <laughs> what do you mean? What do you mean as if someone slightly do it? You did it! A dead plan. Oh. Oh, is it? I had to trash back the opening is loose. Yeah. It's empty. I closed the back. Well, it didn't crew. Oh, ho ho ho. I thought, like, if we find the pieces of the trash bag, we can go there more. A trash can. The bottom extends way beyond the floor. An exit sign? There makes no sense. Hmm. Really? Okay then. Tidy trash bag? Yes! It's empty. I close the back. Uh. So there's elevators and there's that thing over there back then. There's nothing here. No, I want to go there. I want to go back there. And a clock. Hey, this book looks like the one from the room. Should I write something on it? Yes. A sort of art full of meaning? Good question mark. A sort of art full of meaning. The sporting plan, the solar on it throbs. Shade of papers containing various words. Hey. Hello there. Ah! I find myself unable to keep my eyes on the small point, moving sporadically through nonsensical pathways. At first it was amusing, now it's getting stale. How bothersome. I've been sitting here for far too long. This minor circus is getting ridiculous. As always, I have to interfere. I've grown tired of waiting. Could you go get her? He left the room. I glance at the cup in my hands. What a shame. How will someone like her survive in a place like this? I've always made the mistake of having expectations. Insignificant disappointment quickly turned into amusement. The waiting is over. Something is about to drastically change. It is up to her if it will change for the better or for the worse. <laughs> How will this one turn out, I wonder? I better take care of this one fast. I have more important things on my mind. Scythe, here we go again. It's a different character talking. So that was kind of jarring. Ha. Ha. My legs are shaking. Every fiber of my body is in excruciating pain. I've been walking for what feels like hours on this never-ending path. Maybe I should have turned around at some point. Maybe I'll never reach the end of this corridor. Even so, I feel compelled to just walk. But toward what? What awaits me at the destination? I've been staring at the floor for so long that everything else becomes a wash of colors. 
My surroundings are nothing but a distraction from an invincible goal. What is that? That's the way everything has been. For as long as I remember, I've been blindly following an endless path that leads nowhere. But why? I look out in the distance. Even after this long period of doing nothing but walking the endless neither cross or further. For a moment I consider stopping altogether. It's futile, like stepping on a theory of the newspaper. Of the newspaper? What? It's a news pathiore. What? It will all end with the sixth bit of the Turkish match anyway. March anyways. What? The fog highlights a bonic rep two more. Travel on comforts exciting all the world by covers your horrors. Hello, you are loyal. Wow, well, round of all the please shop. Actually, you like and power the hearts are. Squish! Huh? I tried to back away, but my legs won't budge. I was done to find out the reason why. What? What is this? Ah, a step in some weird goo. Ew. Whatever this is, it's well and cold, how uncomfortable. On a closer look, I find the substance to look peculiar. It reminds me of ah. <laughs> Okay, that's funny. Whee! Uh huh. What? I'm not sure the noise with slow delayed movements. It feels like I'm submerging jelly. Mmm, yummy. Other wordless sounds do sound all around me. They sting my ears like needles. I cover my ears to no avail. This horrible scratching the sun from the inside. Where? I can see the words I'm trying to say. They dance, they dance and warp, warp as they drift away. I try to catch them, but my movements are way too slow. I powerlessly watch as a ray of twisted lights approaches. My body is hit by a wave of min impending doom. Yeah, it's a horrible bunch of things. <laughs> There's a book. Did that creature drop this book? Should I read something on it? Yes. Yes, maybe you should. I still miss that thing back then. What was that? Ah, uh, I need to go back. Uh, you know what? Before we advance further. Let's just go back to that path. Okay, so we are back here. I'm track with that. Uh, with that trash bag. And this trash bag, obviously. There's something inside. What? I don't think there was something inside before. Oh. Huh. Okay. Uh, so the trash bag thing. Doesn't trigger the way. All right, fascinating. Yeah, now it's there. Cool. And if we go here, there should be that thing Ah huh. Okay This door is not for me How do you know? What do you mean? Okay, that's an interesting detail Very interesting Anyway, yes, we are back here, so yep, yeah, let's step forward. What do you mean the door is not for you? Sheets of paper containing various words. Various words. A sprouting plant, the soil around it throbs. A strict art full of meaning? Question mark? Oh, no, nothing? 
various words. One word stands out. It reads purpose. What is your purpose? Good question. Ah, a cold chill run down my spine. This room is far bigger than the rest. I failed to make out anything in the distance, the darkness engulfing the room. Yada yada yada. Ouchie. Huh? Were those sounds from earlier? The sound from earlier, but they sounded more clear because you're more close. The source seems to be a figure in the distance. My feet starting moving on their own. Hello there. <laughs> okay. Uh, you maybe you want to turn on the light first, or you know. Ahem. Ahem. That's what people say before talking, right? Uh huh. As such, we made it last. Took you some time to arrive. Oh, by the way, uh, wait a moment. Just where, where are my manners? Allow me to light up this chamber. This is not time for ethnic medic conversation. Boop. This will do. Well then. Private masked person. Greetings, child of dust. It is nice to finally meet you in person. I've been delaying this very moment for a while now. Is that a flying chicken wing? For how long again? A month? A decade. I think it's a month. Who keeps strikes, really? What the? In a dim light, the masked person takes a stand of superiority even while sitting down. It was a strange sight. Something ripped out of a novel. I open my mouth, but only dry sounds comes out. I don't actually mean to say anything anyways. Haha, <laughs> has the cat got your tongue? Mm hmm. That's great because I've got a lot to say. I feel dizzy. I don't understand anything anymore. I got my eyes hoping that this fancy hallucination will go away. Rap 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 rap. My eyes feels liquid. I'm afraid that's the case. Ah! I beg way so fast I end up tripping over my own feet. Tripping over my own feet. Then I'll confirm where a real person in front of me sits down and wins again and giggles, their hand covering what should have been a mouth. I definitely pick myself avoiding the amused gaze before me. Oh, uh, uh, um, I... Huh. I see. You must be the shy type. Cumbersome, sure, but I can work with that. Ha 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 Those are the most fun to mess with. Okay. <laughs> I love how there's animation. Oh well, I suppose this is part where I introduce myself. Let's see. I haven't made many names, but I suppose you can call me... Hmm. Naiko. Table drop? Sure. I, uh, it's... I am the caretaker of the handless clock. But in simpler terms, I'm supposed to be taking care of you. Supposed to be. I've been watching over you during your stay here. It was nice. For a while. Until. I <laughs> Oh yeah. The, the, the true horror. The social anxiety. Yes, I'm afraid your little stay here has been unpleasant for the both of us. You're one of the few that made themselves a bit too comfortable here. What did you do? What did you do? At some point, I've got bored of your lifestyle, lifestyle myself. I've realized our meeting has been prolonged for far too long, so I summon you here. Although you've got misguided along the way, so I've got my cute little assistant Timmy to get you on the right track. Timmy? I recollect him look at the handkerchief next to them. The cute assistant next to them vibrates, probably taking the credit. I must say, I'm quite impressed with you. Spending a month here is quite an achievement. Um, thanks? The words come out rough and unnatural. It feels like trying to spit out rocks. And so I must ask, 
Well, what is wrong with you? What kind of ugly vermin festers in your mind? Uh... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Your strange reason to this room is a rarity. As the solution led to insanity or total numbness. Just what is the matter with you? Lucille Greenwood. Or do you still prefer the nickname Lucy? Huh? Well, it's only natural to know the names of those under my watch. Uh. I feel like I'm drowning in question, but I can muster the courage to ask any of them. Every word emitted from their mask makes me feel even smaller. There's no need to be intimidated. I'm taking a talking as casual as possible. Although, if you decide to remain intimidated, I won't mind. Ha 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 ha. this is going nowhere. This conversation will come to an end soon. You must know this place reverbs one thoughts clear and loud. Or do you not hear yourself screaming through the pathways? Why must one be ashamed of their own conscious thoughts? Must you dread an ugly thought that never comes? But don't listen to my senseless words. Eventually, your such words always come to haunt you in your nightmares. In my, my, my what? Well, you are in a nightmare. How else do you explain all these strange things? Uh, I don't know, some, some uh, weird billionaire horror experiment? Maybe? In a... Or maybe, like, I... I got too much drug, and instead of moderate drug use, it's too much drug use. What? Oops, perhaps that's what was way too soon for you. Or maybe I did it on purpose. Who can tell? Hmm. Regardless, seeing this very reaction never ceases to be funny. <laughs> I guess this was how I was saying. The straw that broke the camel's back. I never understand that. Quote. Ha ha ha. Don't worry, things will go away smarter if you are aware of that. Nothing to be so dramatic about it. What? I can feel my brain slip. Everything makes sense in the worst way possible. Oh, I was hoping we could talk a little longer, but this nightmare was bound to end sooner or later. How unfortunate, there's still a lot to talk about. Your body will soon wake up. I'm afraid I cannot give you a visit while you're awake yet, so you will have to meet me again in your next nightmare. Is it? Next? Ah, uh, don't worry. Our next meeting will be in a much better place. How does the little tea party sound see? Tea? Tea? Yes, in a more peaceful environment here. We can have a nice little brunch. Now then, I'm afraid of our time is about to be cut short. I can feel it. You'll wake up in three, two. Ha! Huh. He! Was that a dream? I never had dreams while being here, let alone nightmares. So then, what was that? In the end, I put everything aside and rest from bed. You're the Handless Clock Watcher, so are you watching us from the Handless Clock? Well, I shall get going on my routine. Same thing. Yeah, sure. A small tree? Didn't we... Uh, I figured we could have grabbed the water bottles at the same first. Ah, uh, no! Not that one. Oh. Splishy splash splash. Still looks same. Oh, but I'm not drowning it. Same dialogue. Thirty two books. Yes, sure. Is it the same thing? The best comedy of self destruction. Shall I read this book? Wait, what? That's a different book. 
I accidentally skipped the whole dialogue. So my bad. No, 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 no. It's, this is the same book. Fascinating. I figure there will be like a change in the book or something. Yes, yeah, so are you watching? Nikos? I've moved my head slightly left to right, then right to left, while maintaining eye contact with the image in the mirror. As I thought, the movements are delayed. I have to avoid looking at it for too long. In any other place, such an anomaly will send shiver down my spine. In here, such as such stuff become monotonous, like taking out the trash. But then, why am I so shaken about shaken up about the dream I had? Most of it became a blur and suddenly melting into the rest of my cloudy memories. All except the moments before waking up strangely terrified. I remember it to a certain extent. There was this person. A terrifying presence among the rest of the monsters my mind came up with. A strange nightmare with a being I made up. That's what it was, surely. Although a strange one, I can see how my brain made up that person. My fear of people I see as superior is clear as day. <laughs> oh no. Is it judgment that I fear? Is it belittlement? And what about the rest of what I saw? Does it even matter? As much as I try to dismiss the line of thought, my mind turned back to the strange encounter. It was just a dream. Is it? That's what I kept telling myself, as if trying to make myself believe it. It was just a dream. My eyes were the edge of the clock going in circles. It was just a dream. Apparently that person was connected to this clock somehow. What was their name again? Nikos. Nikos. <laughs> Doesn't matter, it was just a dream. Just a dream. Ever since I've got here, I never had any dreams up until now. At least not as far as I can remember. Why is it now that I'm getting dreams? Or either nightmares? I don't know anymore. Maybe it was a nightmare after all. But it's absurd. But is it really? Yeah, interesting. With all the things I've grown used to ever since I got here, is it such a prosper Preposterous assumption. Preposterous. Uh, why do things start popping out right now? Everything was so peaceful up until now. What a pain. I'm getting tired with pointless string of thought. I'm done with looking at the clock for today. It was supposed to clear my mind, but it only gave me a headache. Well, that's all I can do today. I'm getting tired already, I should go to bed now. Save? Yes, I'm gonna save. Um, bum, bum. I look at the bed for a moment. I lie down with hesitation. The pillow feels a bit too hard. A constant noise fills my head. I look up at the pitch black ceiling that seems to never end. Image of a rabbit shaped nightmare run through my vision up until I close my eyes. There's nothing left to do for today. I guess I should go to sleep now. Yep, should. Me, 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 me. Uh, what? Okay. God, some people have no shame walking around like that. Right, I will be caught dead wearing those shoes. With those stockings too. She was definitely looking, looking for clothes in some shopping center trash. Wow, okay. A shopping center? No way, selling that isn't illegal. 
Tell us it matches her face. God, if I look like her, I would have killed myself. It's a miracle she got a boy. What is happening? Who was he again? Randy Goody Tyson from the city center. I've totally heard of the guy. He's a tall player. Right, I heard he slept with half of the campus. Honest, someone like him will date someone like her. Sheesh, how long do you think they battle ends? Depends on how fast her parents will drop. Whoa. Uh, whoa, what was. Oh, did you just run away? Oh. Heh, yeah, totally. Ain't it right, Lucy? Lucy? Who are you? Hello? Ooh! That is excellent, dude. Well, now this is very different. Guess half. Go. What the? How did I get here? Did I fall asleep in the bathtub again? Oh no, my clothes are all wet and soggy. And these are my only clothes. I have to dry myself somehow. Slightly better. Ew! I enjoyed it too much. Please, please tell me. Oh, 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 boo, boo. Why we cannot flush? Boo, boo, -hoo. not fun. Woo. Well, that's interesting. Uh, recording break time, so my recording file doesn't get corrupted. I hope it doesn't. <laughs> BRB. Okay, make with a little bit of loop it. Little bit of tea break. Hmm. This doesn't quite look like my flat. <laughs> you, th you think? Oh. Lucy, Lucy, Lucy. Whoa. Oh, I see. Someone is not following the uh, construction rules around here. A plant with blooming flowers. Why is it gone? Why is it placed here? Cool. Cool cheese. Very excellent. -y. That one doesn't disappear. This one looks weird. It disappears as well. That one disappears as well. There's a path there, but... Oh, hello. Safe one. The book is dusty. Should I write something on it? Yeah. Dusty because someone hasn't been writing on it? Wait, what? Falling in love, falling in love again. Music coming from, from inside. Poor inside. It's interesting. Falling in love, falling in love again. Dun 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 dun. You know what? I'm gonna go back here. Yeah, no, thanks. You have fun over there. I'm gonna explore around here. We get a chain up lock with a padlock. Okay, fine. I'm gonna go back. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Just because our protagonist, Lucy, doesn't like to do crimes. Breaking the lock. Or climbing the wall. Smells nice. Oh, that's cool. A note, it reads. Due to urgent circumstances, I have left the office momentarily. If you have an appointment, please wait for my arrival. 
I came for my appointment hours ago, and the doctor is still not here. <laughs> oh, rip. My manager will kill me for being late again. Oh, hello there. Didn't see you all again. Are you here for an appointment too? An appointment for what? Not sure, actually. God, I've been waiting for so long, I'm starving. Say, you're waiting in here too, are you? Are you busy with something right now? Listen, I didn't have time to grab something to eat on my way here. Could you be so kind as to get me something to eat? Perhaps this is a bald request, but I'll pay you back, I swear. I don't know how long I'll go on like this. Okay. What if we just sit and wait as well? The door is locked. Cool. So down we go, deeper and deeper. This one looks rather, rather strange. A plan with blowing flowers must not. Why are they emitting lights? Hello there. Oh, tea party. My, my. Let's a shout out to the tea party. So, what do you think about the scenery? Surely it's much better than empty hallways, right? It's, uh... Very gothic. Haha, uh -huh, just how I like it. I must say it's very high in regards to decoration. Usually I refrain from modifying the scenery, but I simply cannot take the, cannot take the environments your mind lead to. We haven't even reached the essentials, so I have allowed myself to indulge in with this nightmare. N nightmare Never mind that. No, no, let's have a lo lovely tea party, shall we? Oh. Okay. I guess I should just join them at a table. Why there's a safe spot here? Why there's a safe spot next to an event? Say, what, do you, what exactly do you think I accomplished by writing that book? Oh, uh, uh... I don't know. Hmm. I see. That's actually a nice little attraction. I didn't expect that. I love that. I actually loved it. A teapot looks very plain. <laughs> Timmy! Uh, um, yeah. A bookshelf. Shall I be. No. Oh, No, I couldn't be so mean to me. <laughs> uh, I wonder how it is for like. React in the real world, like uh, Nico just sitting there and Lucy just breathing nervously behind. A teacup. Alright. Before it's done, there's something that must be done. Look at this cup. Small and hollow. They wave the cup in their hand. Wing wing! I don't get it. How shall we have a tea party without a tea? Someone must fill our cups. Um. Oh. Okay. So. Nico, good luck in filling the cups. I salute you for volunteering. I guess that makes sense, but who shall do it? <laughs> oh. Oh, you mean me? This might be more difficult than I thought. Yes. Would you also kindly pour us some tea? I, uh... I guess... Lovely! Grab the teapot and get me fill. Shop shop! Obtain a teapot. Woohoo! <laughs> Where do you think you're going? The tea party just started. Come back here. Okay, cool. I... Oh, we can fill our own first. Pardon. Hey, Miss Cup. The liquid inside turned into something. Huh? 
My oh my, how sweet of you. Would you look at this, Timmy? <laughs> the two of them share a strange giggle. I'm still not sure what's the deal with Steve. Well then... Pour me some tea, would you? <laughs> hmm? Are your hands shaking? Uh... I always get shaky hand when I have to pour something. I think about how I could spill it at any moment which makes me spill it. The judgmental glance Snake gives me doesn't help either. I'll try my best to keep my hands steady. Or did he press the key to fall? <laughs> you, you fuck. What if you fail? Why is it getting faster? What the f- <laughs> What- What the fuck? Well, you did a good, good enough job. Now you can pour something for yourself. That's funny. Uh, that's, uh, that, that's actually so funny. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Wait, we can do something even sillier, I think. For something for yourself, you earn it, huh? <laughs> what are you doing? I'm putting down the teapot. Why? I I don't know. Um, well, come back here and pour us some tea, dumbass. Ah, uh, okay. I think we can just skip it. <laughs> Pouring down the tea, and that would be much more funnier. Huh? I just no now notice how light the pot feels. I tried to pour some tea, but nothing comes out. Oh dear! I haven't made enough tea, you son of. My apologies. <laughs> How unfortunate. Why are you craving some tea? No, no, not really. I was, but this really spoiled my thirst. Oh well. How about you just put the pot back in its place and sit down? That was my fucking intention before. <laughs> I'm gonna dr drink Timmy's cup. I'm gonna drink your cup. Oh well. Put the pot back and sit down. That's strange. The pot was with tea moments ago. That's actually silly. Sitting comfortably? Eh... Uh, well then, let's begin. Be begin what, to be exact? Begin what, exactly? Well, well, well. Isn't this nice? Enjoying coffee in this nice, peaceful place. I hope you don't hear that notification. Maybe you do, actually. My Discord is kind of going off right now. Let me. How do you turn on fucking streamer mode? Streamer mode. There we go. Okay, cool. Let's go. <sighs> the music. This all place. Silence. Sitting at a table feels awkward. 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 And where's that classical music coming from? Fitting, isn't it? Human tends to enjoy some malt smell every day cup of tea. Mmm, delicious. I glance at Timmy. He's trying to fit all of his finger in the cup. Don't mind him, he can actually drink tea, he just likes to bath in it. Uh huh. So, uh, you wanted to, um, tall? Ah, my dear, but one moment. Just a moment. But there's no rush this time. We have all your time left to do anything. 
Oh, all my time left. Uh, okay. Say, since we have so much time in our hands, let's get to know each other a bit, shall we? We are still in film with this place. Ask question, get curious. It's always nice to get some info dump. Uh, besides, there's some stuff I want to learn about you too. This seems eager to share some information about this place. Uh, this kind of tale don't show us the worst. Although they are right. After a month, I still have no idea what this place is. I might as well get some information out of this. I'm sh sure, I guess. Wonderful. You can start. Ask me anything. Timmy. Where am I? Well, right now you're in a night. Actually, no, we are not doing that again. I stood it for a moment, seemingly looking for right words. You are in my room. Your room? Not quite. You th you're thinking of a room. A cowboy chamber. This is not the room I'm talking about. That is not. You see, your room refers to the entirety of the bodies that resides into a finite space at any given point in time. That is actually very lovely for Timmy to do that. I am... Um, I see. Yes, and the other room is aware and can manipulate almost all of its content. So, suddenly hold the room. <laughs> oh no. And surprise, surprise, that is me. You being in my room alongside your consciousness is what makes me capable of sounding manipulating your nightmare. I don't quite follow, but I won't ask him to elaborate. I shall say something sound like I understood. So, um, am I occupying your room? Sorry. <laughs> Never mind. Well, anything else you won't like now? What are you? Oh, that's a good one. I suppose this human disguise is quite transparent. T human disguise? Tell me, are you familiar with the term Equilial... No, no, I don't. I cannot even spell that. Equilial... Equilia? Equilia... Equili... Equilialter. Okay, that's better. Um... Y y yes, actually. Right, we were talking about them in school. I... I... Uh, what? It became quite apparent when a few years ago on Christmas, a strange mass creature was one breaking into people's home and putting gift box under their Christmas tree. That's a normal occurrence in your world? I'm... I'm very happy for that. Okay, then. After being captured and experiment on news broke about the discovery of new species that were later named Equil... Equili Alters. I remember being woken, woken up by the story while I was almost falling asleep in class. That's a piece of history that makes everything much more deeper, I guess. Yes, our discovery was to be expected. Our. It only took humans six million years since they were too busy looking in the sky for aliens. So, you are... Yes, yes, indeed. But I'm afraid your perception of us has been stained. I've read a fair share of human literature. I've seen the stories you're, you, you're kind made about us. Seeing us as blood, dirty, crusty, killing machines when they've nothing new. Nothing new. How cruel, how cruel. The human heart is cold and made of stone. Statue. I am... I'm sorry. No, I don't care, actually. Maybe we are bloodthirsty thirsty killing machines. Is that a risk you are willing to take? Um... Hey, don't worry. I, on one hand, am capable of harming those under the watch of the Handless Claw. Ha ha ha. Actually, I could sit here and explain all about us, but no one wants to read a book with a hundred pages of exposition. They could be making allusion to books. It's nice, but also strange. One moment, please. They get up, heading towards the bookshelf behind them. Feeling less sense, I allow myself to glance at the surroundings. A cathedral, bath, and gothic art architecture, I see. The ceiling is so high up, a black fox covers it. Yo, yeah, Yuli. Huh? Huh? 
I said, do you like Rick? Oh, I thought you were mentioning someone's name. Do you like reading? Um, yeah. Yes, I can tell. Not many people manage to keep themselves entertained with nothing but books. I watch them lay their fingers on each and every book, gazing over the titles, I suppose. I enjoy reading too. Many believe our reasoning is deeper. You read to be enthralled, I read to be informed. It's fascinating the knowledge one can acquire about a species by studying their literature over the years. And having to deal with humans for a whole existence hasn't left me a choice either. They end up grabbing the books with the only unique cover and thickness. Who could have guessed? I have something for you to read for knowledge too. I believe this is a better alternative for you to learn more about my kind. There to their seat laying the book on the table. This book is the result of a youngling having to record our species anatomy. I've already ended up taking to the moon. Also, I've taken part of its creation too. My experience have proven to be quite useful. It's not quite completed yet, but for the time being it will do. Rather than listening to Miriam Melbourne making four hours, how do you read about us instead? Wah. Before me lies a medium thickness boot with a neat grayish blue cover made out of what feels like leather. The symbol on the cover shines like gold. It looks nothing like what I've seen before I feel my cheeks turning red. Very few people got to even glance at this book, so you better feel privileged. I was never into mythos, but having one in front of me offering their knowledge to open me. No, I can reviews it. Thank you. I will. I grabbed a book from the table. It's quite light, must have somewhere around 100 pages. Might as well take a look at its content. Open a book to run the page and... No! <laughs> Scythe. Oh dear, I thought it was over. Eh? The page flood near and head to random direction, some section lay next to me. Nagus stares in the distance, looking more disappointed than upset. Uh, um, I'm sorry. No, no, it was to be expected. Our con contact is still got fresh, so these places are not exactly stable yet. Say, if you happen to find some pages lying around, could you pick them up? This uh, was the only copy. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> okay. Oh, sure. They let out one big scythe and shift right back to the confidence cell. Regardless, the content of the books are not relevant to our situation. Let's move forward. Well, anything else you want to know? Who is Timmy? Indeed. Timmy, who are you? <laughs> I don't understand. Oh, how sweet. You see, Timmy is my adorable, my adorable assistant slash fragment slash friend slash pet. Fragment? He's a part of me, really. Oh, that's sweet. No, really, he's a part of me. He came into existence when... Existence when... I rip a piece of myself. Eh? Having to deal with bothersome humans all by myself become daunting over the years. After asking his permission, I was able to make a new being by myself. Besides, lately there's been something I couldn't deal with any longer. I, uh, I guess. Well, anything else you would like to know? How did I end up here? Uh, such words have been spoken one too many times. Must must this be the million dollar question? It's about some press, really. He came here under the guide of the Heinless Clock. Eh? Indeed, the way to get here is automated almost. It will come and go one after another. I stopped keeping track of 4169. That's not 69, that's 96. <laughs> okay. That's... Um, but how? Good question. I have no clue. What? What? My apologies, the exact process is alien to me. Or perhaps it isn't the how you're wondering about. You see, I do not know the process, but I do know why you are here. Huh? You do? Yes, and by your one month long slumber in my room, I can tell you've already forgotten. Can't tell. Can't tell or can't tell. You're hiding from someone. Spicy. 
What? What? From who? I don't know either. That's everything I'm aware of for the matter. Perhaps that's why you're not so comfortable here. Even subconsciously, you are much more comfortable here because of this dreadful person. I... I don't know. My mind forces her to remember anything before all of this. Who could have been such danger to me that I have ended up isolating myself? Well, anything else you would like to know? What is the Hunter's Claw? Huh, that's always the question, isn't it? What and what? I do wonder. Is there any way I can give you a comprehensive insight? Uh, may maybe um, you can. Nope. I'm afraid I can say it in it an understandable manner to you. In okay, it in an un sorry, I can't read that. Let's not matter with such trivial thing, shall we? Uh, okay. I feel like they've dismissed the subject rather quickly. Perhaps they are reluctant, reluctant in revealing that to me. Well, I think else you would like to know. Um, that's all I suppose. That's great, because it's my turn now. Huh? Oh, spicy! I'm the one asking questions now. 